guys good morning welcome guys thank you for tuning on to my youtube channel today this is Kirsty valentine thank you so so much hey guys do me a favor hit the red button on the right of your screen to subscribe the bell button for notifications in that way you know when a new video have been uploaded or when i go live streaming the like button always remember to share and always leave a comment in that way we keep the conversation rolling the story today is about domestic abuse as you all know I am not an ambassador of abuse in a relationship whether it's coming from the woman or whether it's coming from the man as you know not 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 in all cases that you have women suffering from abuse in their relationship or in their marriages there are loads of men out there who are victims of abuse physical abuse mental abuse emotional abuse uh, from their spouses and uh, as you know men are brought up to be strong they cannot go out to talk about it they suffer in silence I want you to watch this video and see how this man has been tortured over the years in his marriage how he has been physically abused and now he's ended up in the hospital struggling to get well welcome back you've seen it this is Kirsty Valentine like I said I'm not an ambassador I am NOT a supporter of domestic abuse if the marriage or the relationship is too violent is too aggressive is too disturbing for you you feel unsafe and insecure please walk out of it I have always said it I'm going to Put in a video that I have spoken about about domestic abuse about feeling underappreciated about feeling unloved work out of it I said and I'm still saying it now work out of any abusive relationship it doesn't matter if the children are there if you've got children because what's most important between a man and a woman is the safety of their children and if both couple the man and the wife or the man and his girlfriend or living lover cannot stand each other cannot bear to live in the same house together as a couple then you cannot concentrate and give those children 100% love your children will never feel safe and sometimes people work things out better people become much more uh, friendly and have a much more better relationship when they are no longer together what's most important is that the, the the children that the offspring that you share together is secure is loved is well fed has got full support from both sides of the parents now according to the stories trending around this is where i will have to come in and speak to a lot of uh, YouTubers, especially the African community, to be much more specific, the Nigerian community YouTubers who see a picture or they see a story, they have not bothered to read, they have not 
bothered to do more research in of, of that particular article they come up and put a video out there only to find out that their sources was totally incorrect according to what's trending which is incorrect is that the man has been with this woman for um 16 years they said some said 15 years some said 14 years and some said 13 years and that she has no children and anytime they say they should go to the hospital to have children he would say he hasn't made his life yet things are not made yet she should wait meanwhile he had another woman outside and and the woman had three children for him and he was impregnating uh, 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 another woman outside and he also impregnated um, her own sister blood sister and that's why she mixed hot african uh, pepper if 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 you if you're an african and you've tasted african pepper you know it's hell it's hot and orange and red like hell and they said he she mixed uh, pepper in hot boiling water and poured it on her husband and some people are in support of it i would not advise anybody to harm her spouse her husband her living lover i would not i don't encourage it i always say and i still believe walk out of that abusive relationship because you have no business in an, an abusive relationship you've got only one life to live live it well you have only one container to live in and that is your body now according to the report because i listened to the interview he had with somebody he said there was there's nothing like that that they both have been together for 13 years they've got four children it was just an argument in the house they met in spain and before they came here to england according to what he knew that his half friends were telling him though then that she was alcoholic she drank but when he went to used to go visit her when they were courting that's before they decided to get married and have children because they are legally married in nigeria they went to nigeria to do the introduction of native land custom and they came here abroad to do it in the legal way so they are legally married and their proper husband and wife both traditionally and in the english way and legally right and that um they used to tell him that she used to drink but she never he, he never be, believed them because um when he when used to go see her um he never saw any bottles he never saw any any drink but this in this instant where um he was being um injured by his wife with the hot water and pepper sauce that um she was she was drunk and that he's he admitted that his wife is is, is is has alcoholic problem she drinks you know and when he notices that she's drunk and she's intoxicated and she begins to react in an ab abnormal way due to the uh, alcohol he he tries to avoid avoid any argument but in this instance they had a, a, a domestic argument concerning one of their children crying and she went on and on she reacted because she was already intoxicated she she first of all came in and poured him uh, cold water with pepper and he he was screaming and then she went back and boiled water in the kettle in the kitchen make mixed it with uh he didn't know he she mixed it with uh um pepper and came back and poured that hot water on him and if you see the video you would notice that all his skin has spilled off and he's in the hospital now that man is somebody's son that man is somebody is is, is, is somebody's father he's got four children that man is somebody's friend that man is somebody's uncle that man is somebody's colleague that man is somebody's uh, uh, neighbor that man is somebody's church member that man is a son of a mother that man is a brother to his sister you have no right no one has the right to inflict such injuries on their spouses 
walk out of that relationship and seek help. Sometimes it's good to separate, sort yourself out and get on with life. Marriage or any relationship, it's not a do or die thing. If he ain't working for you, walk out of it. It's not the end of the world. Don't think about what society will say. Because your joy, your happiness, your health is most important to you. If God in heaven is not judging you, who is anybody to judge you? You cannot live your life according to the rules and regulation of another human being or what society says. Because who is without sin? Let him cast the first stone. Will they? No. So thank guys for subscribing to Kirsty Valentine. Grats.